Isoquants show combinations of two inputs that produce the same level of output. They're usually used to model production, like different mixes of labor and capital that yield the same number of goods. But let's apply this to healthcare. Imagine a hospital that needs to treat 200 patients per day. Our two inputs? Doctors and diagnostic machines. Here's the isoquant line. Every point on this curve represents a different mix of doctors and machines, but always with the same result. 200 patients treated. For example, the hospital could hire 10 doctors and buy two machines, or use fewer doctors and more machines. As long as we stay on the curve, the output stays constant. The slope of this curve at any point gives us the marginal rate of technical substitution. How many machines we need to replace one doctor, or vice versa. Now, the hospital doesn't just want to treat patients, it wants to minimize costs. So it looks for the point where its ISO cost line, representing total cost, is tangent to the isoquant. That tangency point is the most cost-efficient input mix for treating 200 patients. But what if the hospital wants to treat 400 patients? Then we move to a higher isoquant, as more output means a new curve. Again, we find the tangency point with a new isocost line. Repeat this for 600 patients and you get a third tangency point. Now, if we connect these cost-minimizing points across different isoquants, we get the expansion path, which shows how to scale up care while keeping costs as low as possible. Isoquants can take many shape, but let's take two special cases. First, perfect substitutes. Think about buying goods like butter or electricity from two different producers. Their purpose and usage are the same, and one can fully replace the other. Their isoquant is a straight line with a constant slope. In healthcare, perfect substitutes are rare, but junior doctors and nurses might come close. Second, perfect complements. Here, both inputs are needed in fixed proportions. You don't get more output unless both increase together. The classic examples is shovels and diggers, but you can also think of doctors and operating theaters. After all, you can't do surgery without both. Want to see how isoquants fit into the bigger picture of health economics? Then click on the link below to watch my video on the Grossman model next.